this week on Lights Camera Vegas. A special celebration as Carrot Top marks a major Vegas milestone. Well, this is amazing. I mean, I, you know, it, it happens like that. It happens so fast. We're giving props to the comedian in a candid conversation coming up. And from Bruno to Usher to Shania, a look at the other headliners making the Vegas holidays bright. Then it's a full show dedicated to the spirit of the season. The castle is open for Christmas. We just couldn't believe our good fortune. Brooke Shields and Carrie Elwes laugh about their new rom-com. What Ace Young and Diana DeGarmo tell us about going from the Broadway stage to the Vegas Strip for a first ever holiday show. Plus, it's no surprise how much fans loved Sing. Now we're getting all the scoop on the exciting sequel. The cast is just insane. I can't wait for people to see it. And we can't wait for you to see Lights, Camera Vegas, which starts right now. As comedian Kara Top is marking a major milestone with lots of laughs. All right, can we decide where we're going to go? This is my 16th anniversary. We're in Vegas. Where should we go? Some famous friends came together to celebrate a sweet anniversary from one of Vegas's longest running headliners. Carrot Top has been lighting up the Luxor with laughs for 16 years, and he told me he can barely believe it. I just want to say congratulations. Thank Sweet you. 16 never looks so good. You're, well, this is amazing. I mean, I, you know, it, it, um, it happens like that. It happens so fast. I was at the MGM for all those years, and um, David Caulfield made me disappear. And so um, he picked the one. I said that in the news, and he called me and said, why did you tell people that I made you disappear? I said, it's a joke, Jason. <laughs> You may, you know, think of think of think of boom. No disappearing act for the comedian who's become a mainstay in Vegas and celebrate his anniversary with family, friends, and a few familiar faces. Thank you, Brad. Mm, everybody love well, they all love Raymond, but they like you. They like you. Yeah, it's been an incredible run, and, and, and again, every day you, you kind of sit back and I'm and surprised like anybody else that we're still doing it. And it's great that you know people are still coming and we're having a good time, and the show is really evolving and becoming. Uh, it's like it's really cool seeing it grow. Major props to the performer who keeps the show fresh and current by focusing on the latest topics in pop culture. Yeah, and I think that's a, that's one of the most important things I think. Uh, I, I listen to my fans, and I you know at the meeting with the meet and greets, and they all and on the street, and they always say the same thing. Like I love your show because it's always fresh, it's always new. Even if it was something that I've done for a long time, you make it fresh, like re, a, a re, like twist it in a new way. So uh, yeah, that's important to me. I, I, nothing worse than you go to a show, it's the same exact show you saw 10 years ago. This town is getting so bad. How many hotels do we need in Vegas? My goodness, huh? You go to check in, your room's not ready, you're cleaning it. No, we're building it right now. <laughs> Every time I have referred the people to, to your show, say, go see Carrot Top. Every single time I've ever referred to your show, everyone's come back so entertained and Perfect. impressed. More impressed than they thought they would be. Don't you hear that a lot? Well, you know, I think people don't realize what the show is. Like they think of me on television, like Regis and Kathy Lee and the Tonight Show. And I was, I was allotted, you know, three minutes and they think it's gonna be that three minute silliness. The live show, there's production, there's storytelling, there's um, lots of music. <laughs> so the show is a lot different than what people would expect it to be. Like people yeah. always say, I don't wanna go see Carrot Top, like what, what? And then they come and they're like, they always are pleasantly, um, surprised that it's, it's something different. Is I want to bring up that exact thing, like why is there not another, where's the next character? And I don't know, does no one want to be it? <laughs> no one wants to be character. Why not it's be a, a character? Well, it's you know, good. Well, I mean, I would, I would say you should, it's the most fun job in the world. I love being character, but I mean, you know, people are like, oh, props and the thing. And then you go, but you don't have to be the prop. You can do whatever, like I do now. I, I tell stories and I show videos and I, I dance and I sing and I, you know, do whatever you want to do. But the props to me is what I is what I am about. I mean, that's why I first started doing comedy. I just I love creating punchlines yeah. and visuals, yeah. and so it just turned out to be. Thank God, it turned out to be 
successful and people people like it. And this hotel's unbelievable. Five thousand rooms they have at the looks. Two maids. <laughs> She's coming. Fans love the show, and so do celebrities, as countless stars have made it a point to see Carrot Top whenever they're in Vegas. Who has been the most surprising person or celebrity? that they told you was in the audience tonight that you're like, what? And that was really queen. shocking to you. Queen. Yeah, queen. Oh, the rockers? Yeah, no, not the queen. Queen, yeah. I mean, your majesty came, that would be pretty cool too. But, um, you know, we had uh, Queen, the rock band, and um, it was surreal. Uh, I mean, we've had a lot of, we've had people though, from, you know, everyone from Jim Simmons to, to Shania Twain, to, to, to Sammy Hagar, you name it. But but that one was royalty, right? So. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. And then after the show, of course, you know, they bring, bring him back and it's literally royalty. They walk in the dressing room. You've been to my dressing room. You walk in and there's like queen. And they're like, not only they they, they, they smell good, they look the part, you know what I mean? They got these beautiful velvet jackets and they're English and they smell good. And they're like, that was great, Scott. Good God, how did you do? Like, they were really, really really sweet a sweet memory from a special sweet 16 celebration from an entertainer who continues to top himself every year i have a little family history in this place so if you're trying to discourage me you're not gonna do it your highness technically it's your grace i can think of a few other names i'd call you have you been to vegas recently carrie not recently but uh, i have been yeah sure Brooke comes all the time. She's here every weekend at Magic Mike Live, right, Brooke? Uh, yeah, Magic Mike, love, love them all. Uh, <laughs> what are the odds on uh, on this on a castle for Christmas? Good, I hear. <laughs> oh, we will double down. We'll go all in. I can Perfect. get all the jackpot funds you want for sure. Yeah. But honestly, I mean, what? Listen, this is everything, you guys, that we want in a holiday movie. We've got romance. We've got a picturesque, beautiful setting, and Brooke Shield singing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, it's not quite a solo, but uh, yeah, we've got Car Carrie always in a castle. I mean, you you lot you got me at that. I was I was being able to work with him on a rom com um, was such an honor, and and we just couldn't believe our good fortune by by being in such a beautiful setting and really living the life of being in Scotland. So cool. I mean, and even rocking the kilt, Carrie. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we, we were very fortunate. As Brooke says, we we had a terrific team around us and uh, Netflix spared no expense when it came to this film. And we got to film in a beautiful castle, Dalmany in South Queens Free. And the locals and the owners of the castle and the locals really opened their, their homes to us and really welcomed us in a way that really touched our hearts. And so um, the whole experience of making the film, I it was so joyful. And I think that translates into the film itself. Absolutely. Oh, it's so, it's, it's like, again, when you're at the holidays, you want to be comforted, you want to yeah. be intrigued. It really yeah. has all those elements and something beautiful to look at. But beyond the two of you, you know, good looking people. Yeah. <laughs> Although, Brooke, I like how you kind of just skirted by the uh, song in the pub. I thought you were going to give us another rendition of your. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe there'll be a sequel yeah. and, and maybe Sophie does a little uh, cabaret act in the pub. <laughs> I like that. And honestly, you know, Carrie, first of all, as Brooke alluded to, you know, you are romantic comedy royalty, you know, starred in all of our favorite film, Princess Bride. So I can imagine you get a lot of scripts for rom-coms over the years. What was it about this one that was so special? Because again, you're the guy. <laughs> Yeah, I, it, it, because of that, it was very hard for me to pick any rom-coms that, that came my way that, that didn't fall short. And uh, so I kind of held out and I'm glad I did because um, this one really felt right. You know, when I heard about the character I was going to play and how nuanced he was and, and complex. But more importantly, when I found out that Brooke was doing it, because I'd been a big fan, like most people, of Brooke's work and, and her career, and, and celebrated her her transition into comedy, which seemed to be something that, 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 for some reason, most directors had missed for half of her life or a good quarter of it. And suddenly here she is, you know, exploding into the scene, and suddenly Susan, we're all like, my God, she's a comic genius. And so when I heard she was cast in this role, 
I knew I felt safe knowing that we I was in good hands and, and that I was going to be sparring with someone who, who really uh, had the chops for it. And so we, we got along great and, and, and it was a joy to go to work every day, you know. You, you could tell. It felt like the chemistry that you guys have been working together for a long time. And I love, Brooke, that you play an author. If, if Brooke was going to write a book, though, um, not your character, but you were going to write a book about the experience of shooting this film, what would the title of that book be? <laughs> Probably Hetty Cues <laughs> or We Dram. I think I would put a We Dram. That would be it. A We Dram. That would it, that would be the title of the book. I think. God knows, I I threw back enough whiskey to merit calling it a We Dram. So a We Dram is like a shot of whiskey. So and we got to experience it in in its uh, fullness. <laughs> Well, you're a method actress. You have to just, you have to embrace the culture, right? <laughs> well, you know, we not only did, I mean, we, we, we were immersed in it, you know, and we all, we, do, we had to learn how to knit. We had to learn how to dance, Kaylee dancing. And these are dances that, I mean, our whole transpo crew knew all the dances from school and they would come on Fridays in their kilts and tartan. And, and it was just, we were right from the start, really put right in. I mean, one of the women that was doing some body work, uh, her dad would catch salmon and smoke it and bring me salmon. It was like, it was just blew your mind, you know? And, and I think that it was so refreshing for all of us to be able to be working during COVID. It felt great to play my own age. That was that was just a relief and and you know to be with people that were so happy to be there yeah. we're happy this movie is just a joy it's, it is a treat for the holidays so thank you both for your time today i truly appreciate it thank you thank you very much guys what happens after christmas is that him this is my daughter lexi I'll call you later. Still ahead, she's singing her way to Red Shore City. How Tori Kelly can't wait for fans to see Sing Too. But first, some big names will be home in Vegas for the holidays. Peace up, A-Town down. A quick peek at the shows you've got to see. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Hey, I'm the Red Rocker, Sammy Hagar, and you are watching Lights, Camera, Vegas with Rachel Smith, and you're going to have a good time because I know. Ready to usher in the holiday season with some hot Vegas shows? Well, several of our biggest stars are back on stage in December, making spirits bright. There's an appreciation that has to be acknowledged in this moment. Even though my music was a soundtrack for this celebration, this uh, is not something that happens every day. No. This has been a dream. The multi-Grammy winner rolling back to Caesars Coliseum for several shows throughout the holidays and into the new year. Also returning to that same iconic stage, country legends Reba and Brooks and Dunn. They're back for their popular residency and delivering a gift for fans even cooler than what Santa can supply. And speaking of having a country Christmas... Shania Twain is bringing her own seasonal cheer to Zappos Theater over at Planet Hollywood and told us she can't wait to return. I'm so glad you're coming back. That's like a gift you're giving us for the holiday season, I swear. Uh, I mean, it's a gift for me. The joy of getting together with people that are coming from all over the world. The Park MGM will also be a holiday party as Bruno Mars is back for several dates in December, even helping to ring in the new year here in Vegas. Derek Hoff will be dancing through December at the Venetian. Come on, get it, girl. Legendary Rockers Journey are performing for six days in December at the theater at Virgin Hotel. Then Santa will certainly be waking up in Vegas as two of our newest headliners, Katy Perry and Carrie Underwood, will kick off their long-awaited residencies at Resorts World. And how about starting off 2022 with our newest headliner? Yes, say hello to Weekends with Adele. The superstar just announcing her new Vegas residency at Caesars Coliseum, which starts in January. January and runs through April. Definitely a happy holiday season for anyone who loves the gift of great live music. I love you. Good night. 
Still ahead, Tori Kelly says she couldn't wait to get back into the booth to record the voice for Mina in Sing 2. When I found out they were doing a sequel, I was like, oh, thank God. But first, from American Idol to The Strip, just in time for the holidays, husband and wife team Ace Young and Diana DeGarmo. watch your success and your journey and I mean how exciting to come back to Vegas but in this very festive way right yes this is a great way to kick off a very long unwanted hiatus for most of us in the entertainment industry you know we, we've taken a small break due to the world and its situations so to come back here now be together but just bring joy and happiness back to folks again that's what we're on this earth to do so to do that for the holidays with This is Christmas at the Palazzo Theater, which is so gorgeous. I mean, it is decked it is out from right? top to bottom. Yes. We have every ornament, every Christmas light. I think Amazon is sold out from us. We're sorry. We apologize. <laughs> but it, it is, it's an amazing time to actually do our first Christmas in Vegas. This is the first time we've been in Vegas for Christmas. Wow. So we're going to enjoy making memories this yes. year. And Ace, don't you feel like, too, like a lot of people think like, uh, Vegas, Christmas, I want to go to Colorado or New York or it may not snow here, but we are just as festive, right? Are you kidding? Vegas, Absolutely. Vegas parts more than New Year, New than New Year's in New York right here. So <laughs> if I'm here for Christmas, it's gotta be off the hook. Yes, and we actually have the only Christmas show on the strip which is such a shocker. Everything else, you know, you have your go-tos, your, yeah. you know, the ones that have been around forever, but we are the only holiday Christmas show on the strip. So we are living it up. We have sure. a couple surprises too. A little surprise visit from Mr. Scrooge himself. Also, uh -oh. Santa may visit. I can't say Just saying. anything. So but if some kids want to see Santa see before <laughs> Christmas, maybe say a couple things. <laughs> Good chance. There's just a little bit of something for everyone in the show, whether you want big Broadway style songs, whether you want something kind of simple, acoustic, yeah. broken down. If you want group numbers, if you want, you know, maybe something a little more saucy for the holidays, we get it. It's Vegas. <laughs> and, and there's a little Vegas love as well. There's yes. some Vegas Christmas songs and some as well. Songs too. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Yes. You guys are from Broadway, American Idol. So, I mean, isn't this a great thing to add to the resume as far as putting oh, Vegas awesome. headliner? Right? Yes, absolutely. This is our first residency here yeah. in Vegas. I mean, we were here five years ago touring through the Smith Center, which is absolutely stunning. Stunning. I would so sing cool. there any day or night. Uh, but we usually, you know, just pop through for a couple of days and then off we go to the next city. So to be here for an entire run is so lucky and to be together, that mm -hmm. helps. Most definitely. And to be able to do songs that, that we really love and share them with people that we, we don't get to sing these songs all year. We haven't seen anybody for any holidays for two years. Wow. And it's it's just gonna be really nice to be able to harmonize with this one Aww. and knock out some knock out some Christmas songs where you can sing along. You can sing in the mm -hmm. in the in the in the show. You come on, Rachel. We're we're gonna expect it when you're here. We want you to sing out. <laughs> Do that thing where I'm like So no one has to hear the bad voice, you know what I mean? Before I let you go, I know people ask you this all the time, but we would be remiss. What's a fun, upbeat Christmas song we're going to see in the show? Just can you give us like a little bit of a chorus? And run, run, Rudolph. Run, run, Rudolph. Run, run, Rudolph. Got me we like a like merry-go-round. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank so you so much. Thank you for your time. Your show. Now. Yes, I'll see you there. I'll be singing like this. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Happy holidays. Next, the shy teenage elephant who overcame her fears is back in Sing 2. Tori Kelly on Bye. reprising one of her favorite roles. <laughs> performing 
in Red Shore City since I was a little kid. There's nothing holding me back. Tori, I'm here in Las Vegas, which uh, plays a very prominent role in the sequel. I love it. Yes, absolutely. Definitely was inspired, I heard, by, by Vegas. <laughs> I, I love it. It's like, how do you top a movie that was so beloved with a sequel? And it's like, I mean, it's, it's let's be, it's Red Shore City. Right, right. But I love it. It's obviously like the Vegas Strip. I mean, what a cute, clever idea. And I think, first of all, you and your, you know, family of friends would be perfect on the Strip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, that's the thing about Vegas, right? It's like everything's bigger and brighter and, and bolder. So I think seeing, you know, the, the cast of Sing end up there and kind of go for their big dreams again is, is really fun. Guys, we're on right now. No. <gasps> Stop. I need big shows, big ideas. I'll give you three weeks to get this show up and running. I won't let you down, sir. Better not, or I'll throw you off the roof. <laughs> There's nothing holding me back. The first movie that came out almost now, like five and a half years ago, it was such a treat. It was such a joy. Everybody loved Mina so much. This character was so beloved. Have you missed playing Mina and being her? Have you waited so long? Yes, I have. I mean, when I found out they were doing a sequel, I was like, oh, thank God. I loved, loved, loved playing Mina. And also just as a, a just a fan of the movie, even just aside from me being in it, I was so happy that they were, you know, gonna put out another one because that just means more great music and uh, great, like the cast is just insane. I can't wait for people to see it. And you probably have to wonder, when you ever fall into a huge success like that, okay, how are we going to top it? Well, they're going to go, you know, do the Vegas thing, kind of. And then also, oh, let's add Bono. I guess that helps it out. <laughs> Casual. Yeah, let's add Bono, Pharrell, Halsey. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta be brave now. Wrong again! Again! You broke the bonds and you lose the chains. You carry the cross of my shame. Well, let's say basically, like, you know, seeing, you know, the cast got their big show in, in you know, Red Shore City, Vegas. If Mina had a night off where she's not performing, where do you think we'd find Mina on the strip in Vegas celebrating and having fun? Oh man, I don't, I feel like Mina, probably similar to me, she would probably want to go see a show. Like I, that's what I love about Vegas is like the actual, the shows and the food. Yes. Mina for sure be trying to find like the best food. I love eating in Vegas. <laughs> it's like the first thing I'm like, okay, hey, where are we eating? <laughs> um, yeah, so just wherever, wherever, you know, she can see a great show and, and, and get a bite. I think that's where she'd be. <laughs> Quickly, what's been your all time favorite Vegas show you've ever seen? Oh, you know what I saw? <sighs> Which, well, I, I actually got to see, uh, I got to see Britney in Vegas, which was fun. That was a really fun show. I saw the uh, Cirque du Soleil, uh, Michael Jackson show. That was amazing as well. Those are the two kind of off the top of my head um, that I remember being really impressed by. Well, you never know. There be, might be a Tori Kelly Vegas residency one day here too. Who knows? Hey, put it out there. <laughs> Congratulations on your Grammy nomination. So well deserved. You're just such a talent and such a delight. So thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Sing 2 is such a great sequel to the first film, so much animated fun, and it arrives in theaters on Christmas Day. So the perfect gift for the entire family. Thank you guys for being with us for another episode of Lights, Camera, Vegas. Until next time, I'm Rachel Smith. Take care.